Most predators aren't fussy about the plants they live on, as long as there is prey to hunt. But one predator has formed a special partnership with a plant that looks rather like the insect-eating sundew. This plant, which is called Rorigula, also catches insects which get stuck to these sticky hairs on its leaves. But oddly enough, Rorigula can't digest insect bodies. Instead, it gets help from one particular kind of insect called a capsid bug, which lives nowhere else but on the rodula. And the capsid bud runs around on these leaves without getting stuck, because its body is coated with a non-stick substance. And the capsid bug goes and feeds on the bodies of the insects that Rorigula has caught. And when an insect lands and is caught, the capsid bug runs across, sticks its mouth part into the insect's body and sucks it dry. Then it produces droppings which fall to the ground and those can feed Rorigula. The carefully controlled conditions inside Kew's glasshouses certainly suit plants, but equally they suit insects. So something has to be done to keep pests in check. One way is to introduce predators. Asian water dragons. They exist on a diet of mealworms and cockroaches. They quickly learn that the daily hosing down will drive the cockroaches out of the cracks where they hide during the day. There are also more subtle ways of controlling pests that visitors seldom notice. These cards have been coated with microscopic eggs of a wasp. When they hatch, the young wasps go off in search of their favorite prey, aphids. This one has discovered aphid pupae. It selects its target and injects it with an egg of its own. When the larva hatches within its host, it will eat it alive, just as others have done before it. These are the dried out husks of victims. Aphid mummies. Thank you.